All right, so the Warriors met the Pacers in Indiana. The Warriors got a two-point victory, very close game until the end, but the Warriors did hold on. A win is a win, so I'll take it, uh, and the Warriors seal the deal and get the victory. Uh, 102 to 100. Curry is just one short of the record now. He was 5 of 15 from 3. He'll get it next game, you know. He'll get it for sure next game. Uh, it was a gritty victory, though, on the road. Um, Curry had 26 points and 6 rebounds and 6 assists. That's a good game from Curry. I'll take it, you know. I uh, didn't need to do too much, and uh, it was good for him. It was, it was great to see that, and, you know, he's getting very close, like I said, to the all-time three-point leader. Um, but, yeah, Kevon Looney actually did really good in this game. You know, he's a guy that's obviously a center, so he's not usually typically putting up, like, the highest stats or whatever, but he had 14 points. He had 8 rebounds, and he had 3 assists. Uh, Curry was good though as well. Wiggins had 15. Draymond had 15. Draymond had a great game as well. He was rebounding the ball well. He had nine rebounds. Um, yeah, and uh, Otto Porter Jr. off the bench, 10 points. I think he's like really our true like six man right now. Uh, and Gary Payton the second. I got to give him credit. He played defensively really well. I think it arguably like saved us the game because we obviously only won by two points. Um, but yeah, Curry almost created history tonight. But um, yeah, the Warriors pulled ahead very much late in the game with like 18 seconds left about. Um, and uh, Kavon Looney really put the ball back and he got that clutch ability. Uh, it was 13 seconds left. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Warriors, they did good. I got to give credit to the uh, the Pacers though. They're like obviously a, kind of a struggling team, but they did pretty good um, in the early part of this game. You know, they outscored the Warriors in the first half by a decent amount of points. They were leading at halftime by, you know, a decent margin. The Warriors though in the second half pretty much dominated um, those th third and fourth quarters, especially defensively. I mean, they held the Pacers to 16 points in the final quarter. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was good to see the bench guys step up. Jordan Poole had eight points. Um, that's, you know, good, all right for him. It was a good road win though. Um, and, you know, they were, tired seeming you know the Warriors it just seemed like at times they weren't able to get over the hump of you know shooting woes sometimes they you know Curry was taking a rest he was four for 11 at one point for um on threes and I mean he did pretty good overall though and I mean the Warriors were losing to start the fourth quarter and they gained momentum going into that which ultimately gave them the victory they outscored the Pacers by six in that quarter uh looking at the standings now um I mean, technically, I think we're still second. This, we have more wins than the Suns, though. Um, so that's, you know, interesting. But next game, we're going to play the New York Knicks. Uh, Knicks are obviously a team that, I, in my opinion, are kind of, you know, up and down. Like, they they have good moments. They have bad moments. So we'll see how that goes. Right now, the Knicks are 12th place, though. So, you know, they're kind of like where the Pacers are. So if we can beat the Pacers, we probably can beat the Knicks. Uh, but this game, I feel like was a little too close for comfort. You know, you got to be a struggling team like this. If you're supposedly the best team in the league, you have to beat a struggling team by more than two points. But nonetheless, a win is a win. So I'm not going to complain. Um, Gary Payton, I got to give him credit for that defense. I mean, honestly, I think he might have won us the game like, second handedly. I mean, single handedly, I think Looney did because Looney had crazy rebounding stats and scoring. Um, congrats to Curry, though. You know, even though I think the record is kind of being um like blown out of, like not, not blown out of proportion but like it's people are acting like he can't just break it the next game right but i just i want to step back from that i want to say curry is you know the greatest shooter we have ever seen we're never going to see a better shooter than curry i can guarantee you at least in my lifetime and the fact that he's going to break the record next game is in incredible and good one for the warriors tonight um I'm not going to complain. You know, it's a win. It's it's in the win column. That's all that matters. We're 22 and five. Pacers moved to 12 and 17. They're obviously a struggling team. I think they're kind of in a rebuild right now. They're probably going to tear it all down near the trade deadline if I could make a prediction. But yeah, good victory, I guess. 102 to 100. We're going to move on to New York. And um, yeah, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Good one for the Warriors. Um, let's just get more of a margin next time. But yeah, let's move on. Go Warriors. Peace out.